Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to fix a windshield crack, a bullseye is what it's called. So let's get started. So first thing you want to do is take your push pin and get out any debris or any excess little glass that's in your little crack there. And then go ahead and take your alcohol wipe and wipe the area off, make sure it's nice and clean. Once we've done that, take your sticky circle and peel off this green backing. Uh, the tab, I believe, does kind of curve up. So I think the green is the one that's supposed to go down. Make sure that your bullseye is right in the center there where the circle is, where the hole is. Put that down, make sure it's there's no air bubbles in it, so I'll press it down pretty, pretty firmly. And so you can see the bullseye crack is right in the middle. And go ahead and take off the top sticky, and you want to put your pedestal on. So make sure that's lined up, so obviously the hole is right over the bullseye. Stick that down again, press it firmly to make sure there's no air bubbles in there. And then go ahead and take your resin. You don't really need to twist the top off, just cut it with the scissors. And then go ahead and put, it says to take put about three quarters of the resin in there. I didn't really know how much that was, so I just put a healthy amount in there. And really that's all that matters. Just make sure there's a healthy amount in there, but make sure you save a little bit for later. So once you've dumped that in there, Go ahead and take your plunger, and what you want to do is stick it in, and then pull it all the way up to the lowest indent setting, and then lock it with the spring uh, at the top. So go ahead and pull it all the way up. Make sure you hold it, hold the plunger in the pedestal with one hand. Use your other hand to clip it into the spring. So there we go, that's what I'm showing you. So see how it's in the lowest setting? There's two indent settings. We're going to use the other one in just a little bit. So you want to let it let this sit for 10 minutes like this. And as you can see, this what this does is it pulls the bubbles away from the middle of the crack. Um, and then after that, what you want to do is pull the plunger out, let air into the pedestal, and then go ahead and put it back in. And then you want to plunge it down to the higher indent setting and then use the clip to hold it there. And this one, we want to let it sit for 20 minutes. And as you can see, there you go. You can see that the indent setting is the higher one. And what this does is this forces the air away from the middle where the crack is. And so it should hopefully look like this. If there's no bubbles, that's uh, good. That's what we want to see. After that, then you can take the plunger out. You don't need that anymore. Take your razor blade and uh, carefully take this whole sticky adhesive thing off. So just be patient and work it you know, carefully and it'll come off. Now, once we peel that off, if you've got a little, little extra resin, use your, your rag and wipe that off. And then take the excess resin, put a couple dots right on the bullseye crack, take your cure, curing strip and put that over, and then use your razor blade and flatten that out. Make sure there's no bubbles in there. And then what we want to do is make sure this is sitting in the sun for 15 minutes in direct sunlight. If there's no direct sunlight that day, then you got to let it sit in an hour if it's a cloudy day. So let that set, sit and let it cure. And then you can take a razor blade and take off the curing strip and then carefully peel away the rest of the excess resin that's just sitting there. So do this, take your time on this, do it slowly, and then you can get the rest of it off. And that's it. Uh, I thought this kit worked pretty well. There's still a very, very tiny little mar that I can see uh, when I'm driving, but from you know the camera view and the picture view, it's impossible to tell. So pretty good kit. So that's how you fix a crack. So I hope this helped you.